claim to be that good at platformers, but what I am is persistent, bordering on stubborn. And that's a quality I have made great use of while playing the platforming madness of Levelhead. In a world where I just assume no one gets their online orders in time, you are a new employee of the Bureau of Shipping. Your job is to train your delivery robot, GR18, to deliver packages come rain, hail or maze of fire. <laughs> You do this by guiding the little guy through a series of levels that'll test your skills and at times your patience. This is definitely one of those platformers where the intention is to have more than one attempt at each level. I spent that first round hitting every trap and enemy in sight, judging jump distance and honing my button mashing fingers to nail those tricky maneuvers. And then trying to work out how anyone could finish a level that took me 20 minutes in 49 seconds. But once you take a few deep, soothing breaths and come to understand how each one flows, there's a lot of fun to be had in its wackiness. While GR18 isn't quite as intuitive or precise as, say, Mario, especially in those tight spaces, the overall gameplay holds up. It's fast paced and action packed with very little in the way of breathing room if you want to hit that extremely small window for a delivery bonus. This of course isn't always a requirement as usually the bar for unlocking another level is just to have beaten the previous one. But if you're someone who tends to get a bit competitive with themselves, you could easily spend hours here trying to beat your personal best. The other side of Levelhead outside of the main campaign is the player generated content. In the workshop, you have access to stacks of options for how you want your level to play out. There's almost nothing you can't do. Platforms, traps, gadgets, background details and enemies are in easily identifiable sections that don't clutter up the space. My only issue is that the controls while in the level editor aren't as precise on console as they are on PC, which did make navigation and placement a bit of a chore at times. But personally, I much prefer playing in the death traps made by others rather than making them myself. And there is no shortage of those here. Levelhead has set up its community leaderboard is also really cool, if a bit tricky to explain. When you upload your build, it first goes to the marketing department, where it can be played by other users. But to get yours noticed in this sea of content, you have to play other people's levels to gain exposure points. You can then spend these points on your own creations to get them higher up the chart, therefore being played by more people. With your end goal being to have your creation make it into the tower, where all the most played levels are shown off. I like this system because it actively encourages players to explore different kinds of levels and creates a healthy sense of competition as you learn to weave new ideas into your own builds. Levelhead has stiff competition in the field when it's up against the likes of Mario Maker. But I'd say it more than stands on its own two feet. Delivering both a challenging and enjoyable experience for builders and players alike. So I'm giving Levelhead four out of five rubber chickens. <laughs> 